All right, we're going to do something really cool today, huh? Checkers. Yeah. What are we going to draw? Larry the Lobster from Spongebob. <laughs> yes, my favorite. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Jude, you got your marker? Yes, this is going to be awesome. We... <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be awesome. We're going to get right to it because this one looks a little hard, but we're going to keep them really simple, okay? Okay. And so we're going to start right away. So we got our paper. What direction? Vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Yes, vertical. And we're going to start with Larry's eyes up here at the top, and they're really cool. They're just little ovals, and they're really skinny ovals, okay? So we're going to draw two skinny ovals right next to each other, kind of touching. Good job. And then we're going to put his little eyes down here, looking off to the side. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to do a little jagged line for his nose that kind of comes out. And then it's going to... It's two noses. It's almost like he has two noses, yeah. And then a line that comes back. Good. And then we're going to do a little line that comes down for his lip. And then a smile that comes back. And then a little cheek line. Okay? Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do his, his teeth. And he's got some kind of funny looking teeth. So we're going to just kind of make some up and downs, up and downs like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good job. That's a lot of them. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now we're going to do the rest of his smile. So we're going to come down and put a little corner kind of in the right here. So a little bend, a little elbow, and then back up to finish his mouth. Good job. Okay, his, his face is kind of the hardest part, but we're going to get through it nice and easy. We're going to do his tongue, little tongue line. And then we're going to do his lip, a little line for the lip. Good job. You did it. Okay. Now let's finish his head. So we're going to do a little line that comes off the back of his eyes right there. Just a small one. Good. And then we're going to do a little oval right here. And this is for the beginning of his antenna, a little lobster antenna. Good. Okay. Now let's do the first antenna. So we're going to come up. And then put a little bend in it. Yup. And then we can come back down like that. You can make it a little thicker in the middle. Good. Now we're going to do his other antenna. and we'll come out right in between his eyes and do the same kind of line. And then come back down and you can make it thicker in the middle right there. Good job. Okay, now let's make the side of his his head. So a little line up here, and if you ha if you have room, if you don't, you can leave it off. But then we're gonna imagine it coming through his nose and then popping out right on the other side of his nose and coming down. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do the back side of his head, and it's gonna just come out like that. Good. We did his head, man. <laughs> should we keep going? <laughs> I like it. It's turned out awesome. Should we keep should, should we keep going? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna do his shoulders first. So we're gonna come over here and then make a little curl for his his uh, shoulder. And it's gonna just come down, and this is where his little arm is gonna come out into his big, big hands. Okay, now we're gonna do his chest line, and it's gonna be kind of the same like this. It's gonna come out over here. And then curl down. Good. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna curl further down like this and stop. Good job. Okay. I haven't done it yet. Oh, sorry. That's a good job. I heard, I heard you and I just assumed that you did a good job. Because <laughs> you always do a good job. <laughs> All right, so you got it. And that does look like a good job, man. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do his first arm, okay? So we're going to start right here, and we're going to draw two lines that come out of this corner right here. And they're not going to be too long. And we're going to draw the other one right next to it. 
Yes. Okay. Now we're going to bend up and this is where his arm starts getting really big. We're going to do a big a curve line back. And now we're going to do a big uh, curve line this way. So we're going to come back and do And he's going to be holding his big claw up. Okay. Now we're going to do his claw. So we're going to do a line that curls out. And I came back in, so there's a little tail that's sticking in. Good. And then we're going to do this one that comes all the way up. Really big. Big one. Big one. <laughs> he's got massive claws because he's super strong, huh? Good job. And then we can put a little... That's awesome. We can put a little, uh, little hook on the end of each of those lines, okay? <laughs> And we'll start down here, we do a little zigzag. And it's okay if this doesn't look perfect, right? And then we're gonna do another zigzag up here. And then this one's gonna come in to the bottom zigzag. Oh. <laughs> I like it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're six. I was doing it. I was gonna do you that. You forgot and where I was that going. little tip right there, and then go like that. <laughs> no, it's awesome. You did it. Okay, now we're gonna put little we're gonna put little That's bumps. This is gonna claws head. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put little bumps down here on uh, on his forearm. Good job, you did it. All right, ready for the rest of his body. Yeah. So we're gonna come. We're gonna imagine this his shoulder line coming through this arm, and we're gonna come down and <coughs> oh, blue snot all over Larry. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we don't have to start over. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do a big curved line that kind of comes down uh, and then it's going to end right there. And we want it we don't want to go all the way down because we're going to need to save room for his little little legs down here. Dirt. No, that's good. That's awesome. Oh, you did get a little on there. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to finish. We're going to do his chest and this is a uh, this is kind of his chest line or his muscles. Okay, so it goes up, down, a wavy line. Yes, exactly. Then we're gonna come back over here and step in just a little bit, and we're gonna curl down for his belly. And let's keep going. We're gonna keep this going and round around into his shorts. Got it? Got it. We're gonna have a lot of hard time trying to get those legs in there, but that's okay. We'll make it work. They'll be teeny. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do his ab muscles, his stomach muscles. So we're going to do a curved line, three curved lines right here. Got him? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now let's do his other arm. So we're going to do two lines that come out similar to where these lines come out. So we're going to go one, Two. Got it? Yeah. Then we're going to do the same thing that we kind of did over here. And we're going to curl out. Okay, go like that. Good. Okay. And then we're going to we're gonna draw the rest of his claw, his big giant claw. So we're going to do a big uh, curved line that comes in. And this is going behind his body. So we're going to end it right there. Good. And then we're gonna draw the other part that comes all the way around right here. Good, I like how you did it. You imagined it going off of the page. So if, if our art friends run out of room, kind of like Chuckers, do exactly what, what he did. And that's imagine it going off the page and then where it would, and then you pretend where draw it comes, where it would come back in. No, don't draw the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're gonna do a little curve line like we did on the other hand. And we're gonna curl a little hook on both sides. Good, and then we're gonna do that zigzag line. And I'm going to do the zigzag line back. Lots of them. Good job. Yeah. Okay, and then let's do those little bumps that we put over here. So just little V's, small V's. 
Good job. Okay. All right. Now let's do his shell that he's got on his back. So we're going to do a little line that comes over here and curls down. Good. And then we're going to do his shell on this side and it's going to go behind his, his, uh, well, yours is a little, in a little different spot. So you can just keep going around the corner like that. And you know what? I made a little mistake with our shorts. So we're going to have to correct it. We'll come down here. See how I drew his shorts that came around. So I'm going to correct that and we're going to draw this that comes around there. You see that? So you, it's a little easier for you. So you're going to bring that line all the way down his back. Keep okay. going. Yep. And then take the waistline from his shorts and wrap that around. Yes. There you go. And then you can finish that shell line. Yeah, that works. You could draw it straight in too. Yes, like that. Good job. All right. Okay. Should we finish his body? It's looking pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to probably, you could imagine his body kind of going off the page. And so any part that you think you can't really fit in, you could leave off if you want. I think I could fit the little feet. But try to fit it in if you want. Okay. All right. So let's do his shorts. So we're going to do the waist of his shorts on the back. Then we're going to do the waist on the shorts for his shorts in the front. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> so, and you connected yours, and I'm gonna leave a little gap right there, okay? So, yeah. that's okay. We're gonna come back here, and this is gonna be where it ends into his legs. Right. You can try, see how much you can get in there, okay? All right, so now we're gonna come back here. Let's do his pant leg first. So the short leg. So we're going to do a little line down. Good. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to do the back of his shorts. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to do a little curved line here. And then we're going to do his feet. So we're going to do a, a bent line. And then we'll do another bent line right next to it. And then we're going to make his foot. And his foot's really small, huh? Makes him look stronger. <laughs> okay, and then we can finish his shorts and make his shorts look like they're going behind his leg. <laughs> you got it. Look at that. You got it in there. <laughs> All right, okay. Now let's do his other leg. So we're going to do his other shorts right here. And we're just going to do two lines that come out. You get it? <laughs> and that's really small and then we're gonna just we're gonna put a contour line at the bottom of that and we're gonna do the same that we did on this leg we're gonna do one bent line <laughs> and we're gonna do another bent line right next to it and this is for the back of his leg did you get it oh it's barely in there dude <laughs> I'll just keep going okay and then we're gonna do his foot so a curved line at the bottom and then a line back. Get it in. Awesome. No, that look like it. Barely. It's like a dot. <laughs> kind of. I could just do a dot. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to do his tail. So I'm going to run out of room, but we'll, I'll try to get it in there, okay? So we're going to start here. Imagine this line from his shorts coming through and curling up and into his tail. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw the back of his tail, and it looks like a lobster, right? Because he's a lobster. Mm -hmm. So we do a curved line there, and then we're going to do another curved line right next to it. And then another curved line. This one's going to be a little smaller. And then this one's even smaller. Awesome. And then we're going to draw, finish his tail. And then we're going to do his lobster tail. So this is a curve line that comes out here and another curve line out here. And I'm going to slide my paper like this so I can show our art friends how to finish. So we're going to curve the line out. And then we're going to do three bumps. One, two, three. To 
connect those two. Good job. And then we're going to draw a curved line down and a curved line up here. We did it, dude. You drew G Larry. I almost said Gary. Yeah. You drew Larry the Lobster. That's so awesome. He's really hard, huh? Or at yeah. least he looks hard. But if you take the steps, one, yeah, we could practice. Oh, you know what? Let's put a little design on his shorts, huh? So we yeah. could put a little flower. Um, I forgot. We could put little flowers on for designs on his uh, shorts. So we just do little curvy lines back and forth and put one right here for the design. And we did it. Now we're done. Okay. <laughs> So the cool thing about drawing something really hard or something that looks really hard is if you take little steps, one one thing at a time, small little steps, you can make a really hard thing look pretty easy, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Well, we hope you guys had fun drawing Larry the Lobster with us. Be sure to color him in and also take a photo of him and post him to the art club. Where's the art club at, dude? Artforkidshub.club. Yes, artforkidshub.club. Artforkidshub.com is our main website and .club is the art club where you guys can post as many photos of your art as you want. We want to see how your Larry the Lobster turned out, so be sure to post it. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Art right, friends, I'm Larry the Lobster. No, you're not. I am. No, <laughs> 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 <laughs>